Do you want to go from 3 chords to 3000 chords? Well then this is the video for you. I will show you the tools that I use in order to achieve that in 5 levels. I'm going to use the beautiful melody to the song Over the Rainbow in the key of C. Now this is meant as an overview of the possibilities, but if you want to study this in great detail, I post tutorials on my Patreon page, link in the description. We are going to start this chord journey with three chords from the key of C. The one chord C major, the four chord F major and the five chord G major. Important to know here is that the one chord is known as the tonic and all the other chords want to return to the tonic chord or the home chord. The 4 and 5 chord are dominant chords, the 4 chord sometimes called the subdominant or predominant, and the 5 chord the primary dominant, but both want to return to the tonic. These three chords show us where in the melody the resting and the tension points are, and they kind of make the song sound like a lullaby for the little ones. In level 2 we will use all the 7 diatonic chords in the key of C. A tip is to divide these 7 chords into chord families. The 1, 3 and 6 chords belong to what I call the tonic family of chords because they share common notes and can be exchanged with one another. The remaining chords, the 2, 4, 5 and 7 chords belong to the dominant family of chords since they share a lot of common notes. Again, the dominant type chords want to resolve to the tonic type chords. Let's see how Over the Rainbow sounds using only the diatonic chords of C major. Level 3 we will play around with secondary dominants, 2-5-1 progressions and tritone substitutions. These can also be called approach chords and can be used to create even more tension and movement. Now the 5 chord is the primary dominant in the key of C, however the other chords in C can also have their respective dominant 7 chords and those would be known as secondary dominants. You can precede any dominant with a 2 chord. You can also experiment with tritone substitution. By moving the bass in the dominant chord, a tritone, which will land a half step above to the chord it's leading to. I like to think of tritone substitution as the half step approach. Over the rainbow will now sound jazzier. Level 4 we will explore the idea of borrowing chords. We have mainly stayed with the diatonic chords in C major, known as the Ionian mode, but we can borrow chords that are derived from the other modes in C, and that is known as modal interchange. I often use borrowed chords when I want to give an arrangement a darker feel. It makes everything feel more uncertain and unknown. Do dreams really come true? Is the sky turning dark perhaps? <laughs> Level 5 I would like to dedicate to Barry Harris, who is in my opinion one of the greatest jazz harmony teachers of all time. Now I'm still exploring his concepts and I am far from having mastered them. It's a lifetime's work. 
Some of his concepts that I'm working on are the sixth diminished scale and the scale of chords that creates. I also love his idea of borrowing diminished notes. I highly recommend you check out his videos here on YouTube since it would take me too long to dive deeply into his concepts. I'm sure it will blow your mind. Here's my take of Over the Rainbow trying to incorporate some of the concepts he talks about. I hope you found this video useful and that perhaps you got some new insights. Again, this just scratched the surface of the vast harmonic possibilities available. Start from wherever you are and take one step at a time. Personally, learning about harmony is perhaps the most joyful process I can think of doing as a musician. More stuff is available on my Patreon page. Thank you for the support.